I'm going to show you how I get the MSR reactor to simmer because the MSR reactor is a fantastic stove for boiling water. It does that really, really fast and really efficiently and it's very windproof, but it's pretty difficult to get it to simmer. So I'm going to show you my method for making it simmer. So the first thing you want to do is locate the area where you're going to light the stove. It's this little triangle that has no dots over it. That's where you're going to be lighting the stove. Then I light the lighter first, then I turn on the gas and put the flame to the gas. Now I turn it on and I sometimes even put the pot on top of it just to get the stove to that glowing stage because that's the point that you want it to be at before you try to start adjusting the temperature. This is going to happen pretty fast because I've had it on previously, so it's already quite hot. So you can see now that the stove is actually glowing at the top. Now what I want to do is I want to turn it down without the pot on it, and I just want to make sure that I don't actually turn it off. If you do turn it off, you just start the process over. So I'm turning it very, very, very slowly and just getting it to the point where I can make it as low as possible without it going out. I think that's probably about it. Just by like little millimeter turns. Okay, it's still on. So at this point, I put the pot on. <clears throat> If I'm trying to get it to simmer, I will often leave the lid off because having the lid on the pot obviously makes the water inside heat up a lot faster. Sometimes I will also take a spoon and just stir the contents a little bit to kind of release the heat slightly. And if it gets to the point where it is boiling, then I just grab the handle and lift it off the stove for a couple of seconds. It's, it's already wanting to boil. But this is pretty good for the MSR reactor. I mean, it's not like proper, proper simmer. There, it's gonna boil over. So I just lift the pot off. I'm holding it in my hand. Just let it cool down a little bit. You can see the stove is pretty low still. Let me see if I can turn it like a half a millimeter down still without it going off. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There the water boils. And at this point where it is now, I can probably manage to stop it from boiling over just by stirring it and occasionally lifting it up off the stove. You can also turn the stove off completely because the heat exchanger at the bottom of the pot actually holds so much heat that it keeps the water simmering for a couple of minutes after you've turned the stove off. But obviously then if you're wanting to simmer for a longer amount of time, you will have to turn the stove back on again, which is a bit of a schlep. So I mean, you can see here, it's not boiling over. I just turned it down like another half a millimeter. The stove is on, but this is about the best that I can do in terms of simmering the MSR. I don't really cook in the MSR very often because it gets so hot that it's really easy to burn things and then they stick to the bottom and you don't want to ruin this pot because it's a very expensive pot. But this method, if you just need to cook your pasta a little bit more than adding hot water to it, then this method works pretty well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future.